Dubsado is the all-in-one place to manage your clients and projects, but first, let's define the difference between clients and projects. A client in Dubsado is considered the primary person you're communicating with, and a project is just a folder you keep everything in during the service you're providing, like contracts, invoices, and emails. Log into your account now and follow along to see how they work together. Go to the tab that says Projects on the left to see the projects page. On this page, projects are organized into two categories, leads and jobs. These categories are called project statuses. The lead section is for projects that aren't booked yet, and the job section is for projects that are officially booked. If you put them in this section, they've probably signed a contract or paid an invoice already. Let's say I'd like more context on where my leads are at in the booking process. So I'm going to click Customize on the right-hand side of the page and then Add Status. I'm going to title it Pricing Sent and add it as a new lead status and press Save. Now I know if they're in here, I've already responded and set my pricing. I'm going to make one more for Contract Signed and add it as a Job Status. So I'll click Add Status, Contract Signed, Job Status, Save. Now if we head back to the Projects page, you'll see that we have two custom statuses that tell us where the project is at in the client journey. You can make as many of these custom statuses as you want to. Just remember they should be milestones reflecting where the client is at with you. Let's update the sample project status to contract signed so you can see how it works. Another status that is super important on this page is the archive status. This is where you can put leads that have gone cold or projects that you're finished with. Just click on the down arrow on the right hand side of the project and click archive. You can always unarchive projects if you need to as well. So you've seen how to organize your projects, but what about making one? Don't worry, I've got you. Creating a new project manually is as simple as clicking this green New Project button on the right-hand side of the Projects page. The first thing we'll do is title the project. When titling projects, I recommend including 1. What you're doing for the client, and 2. The client's name or company name. So I'll put 3-month coaching program Cameron Macbeth. Next, we either assign a client we already have in the system to the project, like if you're working with the same clients over and over again, or we can create a new client. I'm going to assign the sample client to this project right now instead of making a new client, because remember, we made the sample client's email our own. The last thing is the status of the project. I'm going to set this project to Pricing Sent, which is one of the statuses we just made. Some additional information you can enter are tags, notes, and project dates, but we'll discuss those later. For now, let's click Create Project. Once a project is created, it opens up automatically. The project sidebar contains important info at a glance, including the main contract for the project and client profile. In the top left, we can edit the project title by clicking on it, or give the project a date by clicking Set Date. The tabs across the top are all the different ways we can communicate with the client. First is the Emails tab, where we can draft a new email and see all of the past emails that have been sent out to the client. The Invoices tab is where we can create and manage invoices. The Forms tab is where we can add, edit, and send forms. The Appointments tab is for sending scheduling invites and seeing booked appointments. And the Workflows tab is where we can add in our workflows and see the process steps in action. Then there's the Task tab for adding any tasks, and the Notes tab is great for adding notes that are for your eyes only. So anything that you don't want your clients to see regarding the project can go here. Project tags are a simple way for you to add information about the project. Most of our users create tags to describe what services the client chose. For example, I'm going to add a tag to this project called One-on-One -on -one Coaching. 
Other great examples might be wedding photography, logo design, or whatever kinds of services you offer. You can add multiple tags to one project if you'd like. And remember the project statuses we just created? You can update that here as well. Now that you're familiar with projects and clients, it's time for the grand finale. We're going to take everything that we've talked about in the last few videos and put them all together. In the next video, we're going to send out a proposal, contract, and invoice in just one easy link. I hope you're ready because your booking process is about to get a whole lot easier. I'll see you in the next video.